Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Atari's moon. I'm the Archangel Yuri L, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about how to understand the universal God's nature. Your universal God's nature. You see what I'm saying? Because for the most part, you have a bunch of examples out here that may not be right. And people are being led by certain things that may be leading them astray. Now, for the most part, don't worry about this because this is going to be at the end where we bring it all together because you have a lot of entities, a.k.a. deities, that's mimicking this actual space and location right here. What you need to know, the space and location is vortexing in its own way and it puts out an energy signature, which is really the original energy signature that everything is copying and even to the point that the spirits you're following. So for the most part, we're going to get into that though. Now, this is what you need to understand right here. Don't worry about this because this is where spirits are birthed from, the 7th, 8th, and ninth dimension. So right here, you got this. Now, this is a God being, right? So look at this right here. This is a God being. Now, for the most part, Here's the thing. A God being is nothing more, nothing less, but like a human being or animal being or, you know what I'm saying, any kind of different type of species. But this is just a being that live on a higher frequency, a higher vibration than you may live in. So when we talk about uh, religious people who may try to explain God's natures, a lot of times they just be explaining the deity or the spirit that they're following and its natures. And since that's an entity, it's an actual mimic. It's an actual illusion. And it's actually trying to create its own perception of what I just showed y'all beforehand right here. So you need to understand what you actually fall in. You're lying to yourself and you're actually following a dead star that have became a spirit and actually have been lying to itself its whole, its whole existence. So whoever have the a better lie nine times out of ten will make you feel comfortable with following that spirit but before we get to that uh circumstance and situation right now now what you're looking at like i said this is the seventh eighth and ninth dimension so this is where god beings dwell at now to understand how a spirit being come into play right now you need to understand you're no thing no shape and form so you're just a space and you're in a specific location based upon how you're relative to other spaces, right? And how y'all rotating around each other. So when you talk about a space, a space right here is when you start to develop temperament. Now, when you start to develop temperament, that's the ability to move into another space. Now, when you're moving into another space, basically being one of this kind of beings, no thing, no shape and form, you're not moving into no other space but your own space, right? So you're moving into your own space. So here's where that concept come from. Now, once you move into your own space, that temperament, movement itself, created the first spark of what we what y'all would call imagination that's the trickle down y'all would call that as dreams imaginations or creativity but for the most part that came from the, the where that initially came from is just you just being a true state of being now you being no thing not nothing like scientists say no thing no shape and form so for the most part based upon your temperament is your ability to move aka move into another space based upon your state of being this would create a temperament now temperament created all itself simultaneously temperament and movement. This is where y'all get fire and hotness once it gets trickled down, but I don't feel like getting third dimensional how, how this broke down to y'all right now. But y'all, all my scientists, y'all know transformation and fire. But up here, now it's just it's in a circumstance in a situation where it's moving into one space to into another space. Now, by default, once one state of being move into another state of being, once one space move into another space, by default, that creates third person. Cause third, cause now you are able to be aware of two spaces, but these spaces is within is within yourself, being no thing. But you created the first awareness, the first spark, the first atom, the first nucleus. When you do this, you see what I'm saying. So once you move as a state of being, this is where scientists get the concept of particles being in, in one state and then it's disappearing at the same time. They they get lost after a while, but they all understand the energy signature. You just have a multitude of different beings explaining it in their own interpretations. But I'm giving you the most natural aspect of it right now. You see what I'm saying? So, once you're no thing, no shape and form, your ability to have temperament, move into one space from the other space, right? So that def by default makes you into third person. That created the spirit being. So in this realm, you could almost say this was the first shape and form. So when, but in, in the form you're in, that's so far away from you that it's still so transparent. Once you get to there, it might not even be that. So that's why when you hear concepts like, um, Angels is the messenger, or uh, Uriel being a, the the fire of God, God's imagination. Or we're, we're making up the pieces of God, because God overall is no thing, no shape and form. So all conscious awareness based upon temperament and the multitude of it being added onto each other is what create the overall being. You see what I'm saying? The overall spiritual being in general. 
if you get what I'm saying. And this is this is what's going to create the micro macro and all that. But I'm gonna flip y'all on y'all head real quick before we get there. I just need to break this this disclaimer down. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, that that creates the the state of being, the awareness, the the spirit being. When when you are no thing, no shape and form. Then you move into one space based upon temperament, and that creates movement, first spark of imagination. So you're just by natural selection, just by by resonation. You see what I'm saying? You move into yourself. So, But technically, in the third dimension, I only could explain that to y'all by a space moving into another space. This is how y'all even get the energy signature of a space within space. When you go into someone else's house, you may not feel the same when you're in somebody else's house or your own house. There's space within space, and there's energies vortexing within these space. But before we get to the shapes and forms that's manifested out of that to play out the characteristics of those energy signatures, a.k.a. stars, we are all stars from gas, bacteria, bugs, humans, whatever like that, before we get there, Let's break this disclaimer down. So, like I said, now the state of being, it has two sides to it. Like like a 360, the same way you got two sides to it. So that was the first awareness of a state of being going into one space of itself. And by default, that creates third person. That third person energy signature itself is the spirit being. Because it's, it's, it's now aware of two state of beings. It is it's now aware of two spaces within itself. But by default, it turns it into... By default, it's automatically seeing it from third person. This is why you're able to see your life from third person. You're able to see your thoughts and your and your imagination and your feelings and emotions and the external things that get manifested from these things in third person. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you're going through any down down trial or tribulation and you're really questioning yourself or things of that nature, this is why you're always talking to yourself or you're always talking to something in third person or you always think you're talking to something that can see everything from a third person point of view. So based upon your conscious ladder and where you're at spiritually, that's going to let you know what we're you in how far you can understand that I already in leaps a lot of that shit though a lot of my soul group so we you know what i'm saying we here for other shit but for the most part like i said that automatically taps you into third person now once you have this third person um energy signature which is your god being you now have two spaces to work from now and it's like you're going in and out of yourself in and out of yourself you're having sex with two sides of yourself now once it gets trickled down into the third dimension there's many different lost words that y'all have created y'all didn't create positive negative masculine feminine all kind of shit but for the most part i'm about to flip things on y'all head real quick because what y'all not understanding is in y'all nature y'all have got led by one of these spirits that taught y'all how to stand up right to the point that y'all whole life have been flipped upside down so when y'all standing upside down y'all think y'all in a circumstance of the situation that y'all ain't so y'all start creating shapes and forms of things actually being left side and right side how y'all see it so now y'all think y'all brain got a right side and left side which y'all don't understand that there's a specific a specific right and left side period where all things came from to derive that energy signature in, in general so this is where i'm about to flip y'all on y'all head right so look Y'all in the third dimension, right? So, for the most part, let's flip it in the third dimension so I can explain it from y'all point of view so y'all can clearly understand it. Let's just say right now, this is the guy being, right? So, this is in third person. So, this is what y'all want to call and get lost in y'all think is the mind, but it really ain't. I'm about to flip it on y'all head, though. Check this out. Now, this is the guy being, right? Now, in y'all, in how y'all was said, it has a left side and a right side, right? Now, the reason why I made these look like plus signs because the left side, we all know the left side is dealing with logic and practicality. So we know left side feminine natures will be earth element and we know left side masculine energies will be air element. So we know air is dealing with thinking, communicating and structure and tra and, and transporting and, um, you know, what I'm saying transportation. And we know earth is dealing with practicality and making sense out of the external realm and taking and, and practicalizing and curating and nurturing and seeing it grow and making it take shape and form. Making vases and things of that nature, aka daughters of men and things of that nature. Now, when we look at the right side, now, now, this say this the right side natures, right? Now, the right side natures, what does that tap you into? Taps you into your subconscious, your feminine energies. It taps you into all your ability to react and respond to the realm that you are in. So, your ability to experience in general, and your ability to have an imagination or dr or your own dream to emit. So, right now, this is this is going in, and this is pushing out. We know masculine pushes out, and we know feminine sucks in. And this is re this is receive. So, this is what taps you into your inner realm. So, say this is the right brain, this is the left brain, right? So, basically, the subconscious realm, which would be right brain in, is more related to the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, right? And the left brain, or the left hemisphere will be more related to the first, second, and third dimension. Now, here's Ra. Say you in the third dimension. Now, we finna flip it on y'all motherfuckers' heads real quick, right? Boom! 
You in the third dimension. So by you being persons and shapes and forms in the third dimension, right? Now y'all have been led by a spirit that taught y'all how to stand up right. So when y'all look up, y'all think y'all looking up, right? So technically you're not looking up. You're technically looking another direction. But I'm going to say that you're looking down in this spectrum. But you're looking up. Let's say, let's just say third dimensional wise, you're looking up, right? When y'all look up, they say wishing upon a star, right? So what does that mean? When y'all look up, that automatically by default taps y'all into y'all subconscious realm, y'all subconscious realm, right? Y'all dreams, illusions, creativity, imagination, right? Wishing upon a star. Every time you look at the star, you have imagination. So when you look up, it subconsciously taps you into your subconscious realm. Now check this out. When you look up, you subconsciously looking in the subconscious realm, which is the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Now ain't that about something, right? But look, here's the thing where y'all get lost because y'all start to follow a lost star that want to remain in this space and location. And then since it's a spirit that taught y'all how to stand up right, y'all think y'all looking up at it. So it has an ability to rain down. So y'all think it's always something coming down. But here's y'all fucked up see when y'all think the sun is going up which a sun would be one of these y'all think the sun is going up let's flip it everything is in reverse the way y'all come get your ideas concepts and everything so that's what you need to understand the way that these planets and stars is revolving also it is looking up now here's why we break this down because you think this the sun is going up what is actually the sun is going up is how y'all perceive it going down so for the most part this is what i'm talking about when they look up right they're looking up and what they automatically tap, in, tap into is emitting. So while you're receiving from the sun, the moon, and planets and things of that nature, while you're on this end, being the third, you're receiving. On the, oh shit. On the other end, on the other end, they're pushing off. So when they're not looking down, but they're looking up. So when they look up, they're pushing off. So when they push off, what is this? Subconsciously, the left. So when they look up, they subconsciously going into their thoughts. Practicality. Making sense. Making sense on the things. And we know and the masculine energy. So they're emitting off. And what did I just explain to y'all, right? The left represents the masculine pushing off. So, for the most part, when we know the left hemisphere represents air and earth. And what realm do the third dimension that y'all live in? What y'all live in? What's the majority energy that y'all see being preceded before the water and the fire? Earth, air. So, when they look up, you're in, the, you're in the stars, you're in their imagination. So, when they look up, you're in their imagination, which is their thoughts, a practicality, what makes sense to them, sh shapes and forms. So when you utilize your left brain, you're taking things from your right hemisphere and trying to logically make squares out of it. You're trying to make squares out of the round. You're trying to draw lines and make stars within that 360 circumference. So when you draw st a structure in your head, which is aka logic, rationality, language, any type of structure uh, that you put in your head, you're creating a shape and form. This is why I said in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, this shit is physical. You see what I'm saying? So when y'all be giving off y'all dreams and imaginations and shit like that up here, that shit is physical. And y'all play out that experience. So what you need to understand is that they give off when they look up. And when you look up, you receive. Because when you look up, you go into your dreams and imaginations and things of that nature. When they look up from the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, they... They look up into their thoughts and their practicality. So y'all see how y'all in like a reverse system? So where a bunch of religious people are think they're going up, they're really going down into hell. So they're going into an emotional feelings of the thought. So them playing out the energy signature of being a spirit within a shape and form coming from the zero realm. You are a baby spirit being ruled by spirits that have died from here already and then went and took one of these shapes and forms. So they deal more with the subconscious, the feelings and emotions. And, the, and then they attack you by you giving off your small portion of this, getting ready to know where you're going to go. So the more you give off your feeling and emotion to a specific idea or concept that this star is giving off, that's the more they get to eat and drink. And if they putting you through a bunch of stress and Dalmatian, that's how they can absorb the most emotional feeling. Because if you always happy, that's too light. That one is too light, so they can't drink and sustain a position. So they may fly off and wonder. 
But if they can stay grounded in a position by having a thought and concept emitting out when they look up, a.k.a. their dream, their dream is the left hemisphere, a.k.a. the shape and form. Now, you're living in that shape and form, the air and earth, the left hemisphere. So you thinking you're looking up. You actually get drank with that information. You receive it. You experience it. It goes in you. You think you receive the spirit. You think you receive that overall concept. Now you're being ruled by an oversoul, an overlord, and then your thoughts and ideas. Now you're playing out down here its thoughts and ideas and concepts that it was attached to when it was once here with you. Now, 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 once you lost down here, the more feelings and emotions and, and, and vibration you give to that concept, concept of feeling down or feeling in Dalmatian or feeling attached to the things that this spirit was once attached to when it was living in your realm then the more that you're going to be lost and it's going to lead you into the same space and location where is that so you think you're looking up but you're looking down this is why to get to get to heaven you have to go you have to go through hell which is the subconscious realm so a lot of time a lot this is why religious people tie to logic and 3d and 3d things to understand because this is what the star is giving them because they actually scared you see what I'm saying? They utilize logic, a.k.a. a shape and form, a structure to stay down here, to stay in hell. Because they know once they get there, is this going to be another recreation of what was created down here because the spirit was attached to there in the first place. So they came here trying to admit that same thing up here in a greater way, a.k.a. the more of y'all down here go with that whole way, it can have a whole big old space and location and then take over the space and location from these other motherfuckers to the point that they can't travel. They end up being absorbed and they all participate. Participate and to the point that this is where y'all get the, the fallen angels or the fallen stars of them making a pact and them making a, um, an agreement and them having a um, a, a, um, a council, um, the heavenly council, what they call that, the council or whatever like that. And all of this is just motherfucking lost ass spirits down here trying to take shapes and forms, playing into God's lower natures. Here, God's lower natures is the shapes and forms that was created subconsciously. Now, that now, and then y'all are the lowest down here. And, and trying to participate into the same shit up here, not knowing that when you think you're going up, you're going to hell. So you need to redirect your whole energy signature and bring both of these together. You need to understand that the same way you're down here, you are a mini version of this up here. And this is where you get ready to go. So the more you balance both energies, right, you end up understanding this, this energy signature right here. And you end up understanding what it truly means to be a God being and to not follow another spirit that's mimicking being a God being because we all have energy. We all pick up the energy signatures. So this is what you need to understand. I explained to y'all how the God being come into form. You see what I'm saying? Because you're no thing. You're just relative to a space. So you're based upon your temperament and based upon uh, your ability to move within one space to another space based upon your uh, what you resonate with. Because, for an example, you, you see representations of this every day. When some, If you get a cup of water and leave that cup of water and let it stay still, the water ain't got no movement and flow. It's going to, pardon me, it's going to start deteriorating or it's going to start, not deteriorating, but it's going to start creating fumes or start accumulating things of the air and things of that nature and start giving off fumes and things of that nature. So this is letting you know that everything at some way, shape and form is going to be into the state of being that's going to cause movement in some way, shape or form. Whether it creates its own imagination of it or whether it's, it's in a state of being of it's just doing it based upon resonating, based upon it being in. Just look at it. If Think about you being in one situation and circumstance for too long. Your spirit going to get tired of that. But before you even got to you, I'm trying to get you the first state of the first spirit that actually did that. In our space and location where we at. And not all the beings that live within it, like all the constellations and, and Lucifers and all that. That's all one of these and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All Dracos and you and all the motherfucking Orions and shit. But right now we're talking about what's all that within. Now, for the most part, like I said, the spirit form, the state of being going into one space into another, which is in this space, you just see it based upon how small you is. You just see it as all being space. But at an initial space, at an initial state of this, this is one space going into its own space. So this is where you even get the concept of their space within space for you to have a, your own space. So people don't be smothering you when they're around you or concept or calling you too much or whatever the circumstance may be, or whether you've been in a relationship too long or however. Now, the ability, now, once you in one of those circumstances, it calls temperament by default. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you stuck into a situation, you want to transform it. This is where Mars, all that type of energy, aggression, anger came from. Now, that the, the ability to go into one space into another space by default, right, puts you into third, third, uh, puts you into third person. 
persons. This is why this is why the word persons represent your spirit and your spirit like to create shapes and forms to go into to represent itself. But look. For the most part, this is your spirit, your spirit form, because your ability to be in third person now, to be aware of two spaces that you went into, it by default, you got two spaces to go into now. By default, you in third person, but it's still you. You see what I'm saying? Because you went into your own space. Now, for the most part, this is... Now you're going to start developing information and wisdom about yourself. You're going to start developing the ninth dimension about yourself, the ninth, eighth, and seventh dimension about yourself, which you start to understand the, hemis the hemisphere of your space, your specific space and location, your spirit form. So all of this right here is really all of this, that, that backdrop. But I'm going to start to under show you before you can understand what I'm talking about. Right. So this is the being. This creates the state of being, your state of being, period. No shape and form. No thing. See what I'm saying? Now, we, now you got your hemispheres that you're trying to learn about yourself. So now you just you once these two spaces you're back and bouncing forth to be aware of yourself as third person, right? You bouncing back and forth between these two natures, um, hemispheres is what's creating shapes and forms because you got a vortex, which is just a vibration. And now you expanding and contraction. This creates your expansion and contraction, which start to create shapes of the physical form. And the physical form is gonna is gonna represent your state of being. And however your state of being frequency vibrate was vibrating the frequency was vibrating going in and out of itself that's the shape and form that's going to be accumulated that's what's going to represent that's what it's going to represent so this you being this true nothing no thing this is where y'all get that five type of being from but y'all got y'all have got led by a spirit that's trying to show y'all that it's the black hole or it's it's the um the the black sun or whatever like that or it's the spirit itself like it's trying to it's trying to say that it's a light, it's a shape and form, and it's a spirit in it, but it have lived certain experiences that it, it's aware of what I'm telling y'all. So it's trying to it's trying to tell y'all that it's that. So now it's trying to create the no thing. It's trying to make that a shape and form. So now it's trying to represent no thing, the true God being as a, another shape and form in that existence right now. So it's almost like. It have led all the way down to now y'all physically got five representations to y'all. Y'all not four things. Now y'all creating ether, black matter. Y'all creating five pendulum type of bodies, five pointed star type of bodies. The five, which y'all think is perfect shape and form, uh, which is gold, which is, which ain't nothing but a spirit wanting to create a shape and form to experience the expansion part of life for forever without never tarnishing or expiring. And, and this is the highest form of lostness. Cause once you get stuck in that, y'all, woo, y'all don't know. Listen, let me stop this fucking video so I, before, before I start getting attacked by this motherfucking being. But for the most part, it's trying to tell y'all it's a thing that it's trying to tell y'all the no thing is something now, and it's trying to play the representation of it. So since it ruled that intellectual property and that idea and that concept, it's gonna reap all the benefits, and the whole universe is up under that concept. All y'all trying to tie no thing to something. And and the first spirit that went into a shape and form that it commits certain imaginations and lights that when y'all receive it y'all make it y'all y'all feel like that that's the true no thing then that's y'all y'all lost by the the highest spirit here and that ain't that ain't even the God you see what I'm saying like y'all see how deep this shit go this shit is so deep that your religion is so deep into layers you probably got to filter trillions of years through trillions. Uh, different star systems and constellations, billions of different religions, billions of different concepts and dimensions before you even reach what the fuck I'm telling you in 2018. That's how deep the shit go. And you know that because the realm of reality that you are in, you have the ability to make a billion and trillion dollars. You have the ability to separate a billion or trillion different species amongst each other. So y'all are in a realm of reality where there's a billion trillion different shapes and forms AKA y'all are in a realm of reality of creations that have already be cre that have already been created and since it's so many creations that's letting you know by time references how far down the line you are. So that's letting you know how lost y'all are third dimensional wise <laughs> just based upon how much mathematics and science y'all can come up with. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up like and I'm not telling you these things ain't useful, but these things are just to calculate the space and location you are. But then y'all start believing these things. Y'all start being in that lie. So y'all state of being be rotating in that lie. So y'all stay in that rotation and pattern. And regardless of what spirit and what frequency vibration and what dimension it's in, because it's probably in a high ass one itself, y'all still rude. <laughs> Light boss, bitch, I love y'all.